How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? About to get in the fuzz. What's going on? What's going on, people? Um, hope everybody's doing everything as far as sleeping because it's almost officially 3 o'clock in the morning. And of course I'm doing this video very early morning because I kind of didn't want to do this video. I've been sitting on it for a while and I needed to get more proof and you know I've got a lot of emails and stuff in reference to you know they wanted to do this video in reference to the transgenders in the bathroom. Now as you know I exhausted myself in reference to the transgenders in the bathroom and the building and stuff and what we've been going through and stuff and as far as the transgender and the trans kids and stuff. but. As of now, they're speaking in reference to Trump, and basically he revocation the um, Obama, what he already had um, admitted into um, office. And this is what happened. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an idea of different things that came up. You know, in reference to Vern Cox, and she was she's an activist, of course, an actress, and Mara, and also Caitlyn Jenner jumped in on it in reference to. You know what's going on in reference to the trans kids and fighting for trans rights. Okay, so I want to share this with you what I found up so far. Okay, oh, so I know this has happened on February the 23rd, 2017, as far as being booked. Laverne Cox was out there as far as um, uh, she's an activist and stuff, and she was talking in reference to Obama, you know, about the transgenders in the bathroom. And also, she went on MSNBC, and, and she went on there with Mara Kieslang. And they went on there talking in reference to, um, you know, transgenders in the bathroom, and Laverne and Mara school right wing on trans issues and stuff. Now, they went on a show called Today on MSNBC Hardbar host calls Chris Matthews as right-wing activist Travis Weber. Um, if his fellow guests Laverne and Mara, both transgender women, should use the men's restroom. And Weber was speechless. So Laverne, should Laverne use the men's room? Should Mara use the men's room? Matthews asked Weber, director of the Center of Religious Liberal at the Family Research Council. Weber seemed taken back a bit. He made no intelligible, intelligent response, says um, Kiesling executive director of the National Center of Transgender Equality stepped in. Now, Travis known that if Laverne and I went into the men's room with him, he would be entirely freaked out, she said. Laverne and I cannot use the men's room, should not use the men's room. And by the way, if we want to go back to how it has been for decades, we will leave this stuff alone and allow people to just be adults about it. The exchange came in the decision of Trump administration, administration revocationing of Obama era guidelines and recommending school recognize trans students preferred names and pronouns and allow them to access the restroom, locker room, and other single sex facilities aligned with your gender identity. Mara and Laverne, the actress known for her role on The Orange and the New Black, pointed out that for many years, transgender people have been using facilities of their choice without incident. Weber content, content with that, um, he considered that harm is done by allowing trans people such access when but when Matthews pressed him he couldn't come up with a um, specific example of such harm. A 14 year old girl in the locker room, someone with male genitalia in their locker room, of course they're going to be harmed, Weber said, ignoring amongst the other things that the fact that school generally makes privacy arrangements. Now Laverne had a comeback for him. I think it is important that 
but we have conversations with about transgender people that we do not reduce it to our body parts, Laverne said. We are more than the sum of our parts. And we do not reduce our body, we do not reduce us to our body parts, she said. We are more than the sum of our parts and deeply, objectively, of dehumanizing to talk about trans people and reduce us to body parts. Another statement of the show, um, Laverne noted that um, any controversy around restrooms and locker room access really about transgender people, very right to exist. She and Mara also talked about the case coming up in September. I mean, the case coming to the Supreme Court involving trans student Gavin Grimm and the question of whether federal law against discrimination covers gender identity discrimination. You know, so this is what's going on in reference to that and stuff, you know, the guidelines as far as trans people, you know, that's happening. Well, now everything is going crazy as well. And Caitlyn Jenner has stepped into the field in reference to the trans kids as well. Caitlyn Jenner tells Trump revoking guidelines for trans kids is a disaster. Now, the Republican reality starts in a message to Trump via Twitter denouncing the administrative revocating, revocation of guidelines for the trans kid, telling him, call me. Now, when Trump administration moved this um, week um, of the guidelines and stuff, um, Caitlyn Jenner released it of VDI Twitter today in which she rebuked the acts of pulling the guidelines by calling the move a disaster and a direct address to Donald Trump. She began the message with two trans kids affected by Trump administration. She says, I have a message for the trans kids of America. You're winning. I know it doesn't feel like it today for every day you're winning, Jenner says. Very soon, we will win full freedom nationwide. And it's going to be with bipartisan support. Then Jenner fiercely addressed the bullies, including Attorney General Jeff Sessions. Now, I have a message for the bullies. You're sick. And because you're weak, you put kids, you pick on kids, you pick on women, and or anyone else you think is vulnerable, Jenner said. Apparently, even becoming the attorney general isn't enough to cure some people of their insecurities. Finally, Jenner, a Republican, addressed Trump, calling the situation a disaster that could be fixed and urging him to call her. It is so much that's going on since Trump been in office, and I have a feeling there's more to come. Okay, you see that? You know, so, um, just like Caitlyn Jenner said, you know, you have to stay strong, don't give up, and, you know, it's a fight. We fought before, we'll fight again, and we just all we can do. You know, that's all we can do. You can't lose hope. Hope is all you have. Faith is all you have. So no matter how dark the night seem, always remember the sun is going to come up in the morning. And if the sun don't come up the right way, the way you want, that's the time you get down and, just my opinion, you get down and you talk to the man above and you tell God what exactly is happening. Because God's going to fix this. You, and this is, this is only my opinion, you know, as far as what I'm saying, but God is going to fix this. Don't you worry your beautiful face or your beautiful head or, you know, lose doubt and lose faith in what well, humanity and the different obstacles that we've come across. And it's all in the plan. It's going to work in our favor. Because see, the one thing that people understand, people are doing things to be tested and find faith within, you know, God what we worship as far as myself live. So don't lose faith. Stay strong. Stay prayed up. Stay close to your transgender children. Stay closer to the parents of the transgenders. Do not lose faith. It's all going to work out in the favor of you. 
But that's what I want to share with you. And, you know, I want to talk to you about the to transition to the bathroom once again. And, you know, like I said before, I, uh, uh, the girls can't be one kid. I mean, this is a raven. We need you to do the story, you know, on this about the trans bills or just trans in the bathroom. I've done endless videos of references and, you know, it's mentally exhausting to go back and forth with the Trump thing and, you know, and, and, and so much is going on and, you know, then they got the fake websites and they got the fake news and fake everything and to be honest, there's a lot of stuff that's going to be out here as far as saints, as far as Trump, it's going to be fake, a lot of stuff and website and, you know, the thing about it is that people are jumping on these websites, oh my goodness, look what just happened. And it's not facts. You know, and this is a problem I have. You know, I, I'm not going to report something unless it's facts. It's really hard for even me to try to, you know, figure out what's facts, what's real, what's fiction. It's, it's exhausting. It's really exhausting. Because I can tell you one thing that Trump will say something totally different. And, you know, Caitlyn Jenner signed on. She, she wants to talk to Trump. And, you know, uh, listen. Anyway, y'all could get through. Vern Cox, um, Myra, Myra Kingsland, um, Caitlyn Jenner, all you other blockers out there, all you other trans women out there that are activists, the Mox, Jenner Mox, and the, you know, um, anyone, you know, that's protesting or fighting for the trans rights or the trans, you know, youth and stuff, all you blockers out here fighting, keep fighting. Because your voice is just as powerful as the people who are out there in the limelight. Trust me, you're reaching people. Every little bit helps. You know, and I just wanted to share the story with you and stuff like that. And I want to put it out there because my inbox has been back with the story. And I just want to share with you and stuff. And I want you to keep faith. Because I see people losing faith. And I have to do this video and it's early in the morning to let you know, don't lose faith. Always keep your eye on the prize. No matter what other people say, the victory is ours. Anyway, that being said, I just want to share this with you. And I will let you know that I love you. And I want to thank you for watching. Thanks for reading. Support trans kids. I love my transgender child. And always stick together on my trans people because... Every trans life matter.